Hi everyone, my name is Jada Howard. I'm a fourth year student at the University of Technology Jamaica and I'm studying Computer Information Systems. And I'm Kimani Buckner, fourth year student at the University of Technology Jamaica studying Cybersecurity. And today we will be comparing our majors. What does your major involve? Alright, so whenever I mention cybersecurity persons, things like hacking, Mr. Robot, um, some type of NASA movie scene, it's not really like that, it's more so like protecting data systems infrastructure. So whenever you get that notification on your, on your bank account that someone's trying to access your account, whatever, I'm the person protecting your system, ensuring that nobody is accessing your information. So what about, what about you? Basically, I will look at a customer's shopping patterns, trends in their purchases, things like that, and suggest items to them. So all those recommendation emails, that's, that's you? Yes, that's, that's the type of algorithms that we would be developing. Oh, okay. What do you think are some of the key similarities and differences in our respective majors? I think the similarities in our majors would be that we both focus on the systems that a business has. You focus more on the technical side, you know, protecting the data. I focus more on analyzing the data and finding finding out how it can be useful to the business objectives. For, for me, there's a lot of similarities because even right now in school, a lot of our classes overlap like database design, software engineering and so forth. The differences for me is more so when like I specialize in an era where I think CIS are information systems that cover more of a broader general aspect. So you manage the data systems, the infrastructure, data management, the administration are more so on the protective side, you know, ensuring that those systems are reached or accessed illegally. Yeah, so I analyze and you protect. Exactly. Nice, okay. Teamwork. What topic areas do your classes cover? It mostly covers software security, system security, computing practice, and also the ethical side. And that more so speaks to ensuring you're using the computer system legally. So even though you're doing labs, you're doing homework, you can just go and breach this system and say, oh, I was doing a lab. You know, you will go to jail, basically. Yeah. But it's more so ensuring that we have a basic foundation of what the real working world is like and understanding what we're supposed to do when we start working. Our courses include things like um, learning how to code in Python and R to analyze data. <laughs> Just, just like to analyze data, it's pretty simple. Um, there's a little bit of math involved, not too much math. We also do um, ethics as well. We focus on data protection regulation, which has to do with the Data Protection Act. That's very popular now. Yeah, and also we try to um, incorporate innovation into it. Because when you analyze data, you need to do something with it. How would the company use it? So there's also courses on innovation. What types of internships are available in your field of expertise? JPS, um, Huawei, uh, JN, which I've done. Um, there is also uh, but grid, grid Dynamics. Grid Dynamics comes here pretty often. And they're, they're always offering internships for data analytics and even web, web development and software um, development as well. There's actually a module persons can select when come module selection that they can get to actually get an internship. However, if they don't want to go that direction, you have a lot of companies like Total Energies, Sentinel One, Grace, lot of those companies they do offer internships or they might reach out to their lecturers or program directors, even the teachers themselves will let us as students know there's internships available for us to take advantage of. So it's not uh, a dry spell. Yeah. So whosoever has chosen to do this degree, you don't have to worry that you won't get any real-world exposure. The opportunities are there. Oh, yeah. Same. Same for our degree. Okay. Yeah. Last question. What extracurricular activities or clubs are related to your major? Okay, so you have the, the, um, the Cyber Defense and Attacking Institute for CNS, also known as CADI. It's basically a club are you know just a group of individuals who come together from CIS, computing, CNS, you come together, you learn how to hack ethical hacking. For my degree, well for my major, I would say that a club would be um, the Google Developers Club. They do they do software um, development and also 
they kind of do a little bit like in innovation. So if you want to take something that you learned from the club, like a software developing skill um, or coding languages that you have learned, then you can go, you can do your own technology startup with that, or you can even like form a group there and you guys can build something together and enter tech competitions. Yep. So that's good. Well, I mean, I learned a lot today. I didn't know that so much went on in this program, but yeah, so that's our majors. We compared and we learned. I learned something, I hope you did too. I did, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, see you again. Boop.